Hi, welcome to this quick introduction to MindView where I'm going to show you how mind mapping, specifically with MindView, can be used to support you at university. Over the next few minutes I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to create a mind map, generate ideas and even convert them into Microsoft Office documents. Let's begin by starting a new mind map. Mind mapping is a great way of doing any type of visual planning. It helps you to get ideas out onto the page, structure ideas, and even help with things like essay writing, creating presentations, or just creating visual action plans. There's lots of different ways to start generating a mind map. You can use keyboard shortcuts to start generating branches, double click with the mouse, or use the ribbon toolbar at the top of the page. You don't always have to create ideas that are connected to the mind map. You can create ideas that are floating around until you have a better idea of where they belong within your plan, at which point you can drag and drop and connect ideas together onto the mind map. So in this simple example, I've just made a really quick mind map outlining some Marvel comic characters. And under Spider-Man, I've even isolated some areas of research, their superpowers and their backstory. One quick tip for speeding up the process of mind mapping is the ability to take these sub-branches here and actually copy-paste them onto other branches. Because I want to research the superpowers and the backstory for every character, this helps when thinking about what I want to research for each individual character. Notice now how the problem is broken down into its smaller, more manageable parts. Once you've created your visual outline, you can start to embed all types of content onto the branches. This is a great way of organizing files, creating paragraphs of text, or even just creating a nice visual plan with images on the mind map. In this example, I'm just going to add some text like I'm writing my essay and a few images to make my mind map look a little bit more interesting. So under superpowers, I'm going to open now the text note editor. Notice as I'm doing this, the ribbon toolbar at the top of the page has now changed to the functionality of Microsoft Word. So you can do all of your essay writing in one place. So very simply, I've just added a couple of sentences relating to Thor's superpowers. Notice, as you start to add content onto your branches, paper clips will start to appear. Hover over the paper clip and you'll find exactly what is embedded onto that branch. This makes it a nice step-by-step -step process to helping to build ideas and collating content relating to this topic. Fast forwarding now and here I have a more complete mind map. On each of the main branches I've added an image of each character and as you can see I have paper clips on every outer branch. All I've done is added a couple of sentences relating to each character. A little bit like writing an essay. What makes MindView unique is that it also has a built-in citation tool. This is really going to help you when doing any type of academic writing. The citation tool of MindView allows you to either create sources from the WorldCat online source database you can also connect your Mendeley and Zotero accounts if you're using these tools. In this example, I'm just going to quickly use a WorldCat source. WorldCat allows you to search for books, films, journal articles, and even type in the ISBN number of the book to generate your source. In this example, I've just keyword searched Spider-Man, and it's found me a range of books, films, and journal articles to select from. The WorldCat integration with MindView makes it quick and simple to create sources. Once I've created my list of sources, the citation tool will actually help me to write the in-text citation. So by selecting the source and referencing a specific page number, it will automatically insert into the text note editor the correct citation. When we export this over to Word, we'll actually be able to choose the referencing style. So very quickly, you can go from having a blank page to putting your ideas into the mind map, dragging and dropping to order and sequence your information, as well as adding all your content onto the branches. This is the magic part, where we export into Microsoft Office. 
You can export into Word, PowerPoint, Excel, but for now we're just going to export over to Word. By selecting the custom Word export, you can choose from lots of different templates built into the software that will make your work look awesome. At the top of the page we have those academic styles of APA, Harvard, etc. You can also pick and choose exactly what information you'd like to bring across from your mind map. In this example I'm going to bring everything, including the image of my mind map, a table of contents, I want to include a bibliography, and all of the content from my branches. Unique to MindView is also the ability to search for the exact style of your university. By keyword searching the name of your university, you can make sure you're getting the correct citation style. For example, I've selected Harvard, but I want to choose specifically the Harvard style of Bournemouth University. And so here's the mind map now exported into Microsoft Word. It's automatically created a title page for us, so Marvel Comic Characters by Liam Pettit. If I scroll down a little bit further, here's the image of the mind map. So you can notice how we've formatted the document in Word. The main branches have become the main chapter titles and the sub-branches have become the sub-chapters. It's even created a table of contents including page numbers. If we scroll down into the document, you'll see all of the content that we added onto the branches has now formed the body of the text. We have the superpowers and history of Spider-Man leading on to Thor, Hulk and even Black Widow. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom, it's even written the bibliography for us. MindView is going to be a great tool to help speed up the process of generating ideas, adding content and then ultimately exporting it into a Word, PowerPoint or any Office document ready for assessment. And here I've also done the export to Microsoft PowerPoint. The first slide introduces us to the main branches and then takes us around the sequence of the mind map onto Spider-Man, superpowers, history, bringing across all of the content that I embedded onto the branches. This is not only a great way of creating presentations, but also for creating cue cards or revision flashcards. I hope you enjoyed this very quick introduction to MindView. Of course, there's loads more functionality to enjoy. To learn more about MindView, why not go over to YouTube and check out our YouTube channel called Matchware Software. On here, you'll find lots of different videos introducing you to the functionality of MindView.